there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode on Pastiche of Skin. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Today, we're doing a cold open on a game called Blasting Agent Ultimate Edition. Now, uh, considering it's an Ultimate Edition, this has probably been a PC port of a game onto the PS4 console. And I'm actually kind of excited to check it out. Um, from what I could see of the materials, it's a 2D platform shooting game and very reminiscent of Commander Keen and the early Duke Nukem games, like the first, the first 2D Duke Nukem games. And yeah, like what, 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 uh, what can you ask for of a retro game other than that? You got shoot is circle, jump is X, shoot is triangle, and jump is square. Um, yep, that's, <laughs> that's our controls. Initial setup, bam, suit and grand, confirm. Options button. <laughs> Level one, Frigid Caldera. <laughs> right, you only take three hits. Good, understand that now. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm assuming you have to actually avoid guys at the very beginning here because that is not easy. Ugh. Yeah, you can't get past. All right, so gun modules change. So speed and range. That's cool. Uh, press up to use beam. Okay. Rewards. All right, cool. We're moving on then. Hey. Boom, 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 boo, boom. Right. Old school sh shooter. Like, it feels like um, I'm going to actually get my ass beat on this for a long time. It's uh, potentially made to be a platforming challenge. It's not as shmuppy, it's not as shooty as, say, uh, some of the more recent kind of platformer shooters. This is feeling retro as fuck. Oh, gradients. All right, well, I can get past that guy now anyway. That music just reminds me of old God, you know, like um, old crack discs and stuff and uh, tech demos that you used to get on games, but like whenever you had trainers on them back in the old Amiga days. Oh, it feels good. It feels, feels goddamn good. Fuck, you know. <laughs> it's such an old technique of just like back in, back out, back in, back out for big enemies like that. So I just took out a mini boss, I think. <laughs> this is actually fun. Um, it, the, if you've got people in your life that actually have been playing these kind of games for a long time, I recommend this to them. Uh, they, this is a throwback and a half to an era. Right. Oh shit, I'm, oh yeah, I was dead. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make it to the end of this level in a reasonable amount of time, but I don't think I've got it in me. I don't have to, <laughs> I 
I mean, admittedly, I am playing this in the early hours of the morning, so that I feel like I'm actually pretty much in exactly the state I would be for playing this kind of game from way, way back in the day. Isn't it beautiful, though? Just the simple graphics, a tiny, tiny 8-bit man. Like, just an 8-bit man on an adventure. He's got a plan. He's got somewhere he needs to be. And that place he needs to be is somewhere that's not dead. <laughs> hey, fuckhead. Come here. Boom! I was worried I might have actually lost my health there. These are the exact spots you need to stand for each one of these kills. And it's like, I can imagine just the, <laughs> the amount of actual like practice and stuff that gets to the point where you just like, you memorize where every enemy is in the level. Oh, oh man, this takes me the fuck back. At least they don't respawn like they used to do back then if you backpedal too far. You didn't know where the sweet spot was. The only frustrating thing is here that they really shouldn't make the guy two blocks tall. He should be one block tall and that's it. Uh, that would be, because these walls and breaking blocks are annoying the shit out of me. Boom, boom. So you have to find all of the little triangle crystals. I imagine they're going to be an arsehole to find. God damn it! <laughs> Alright. Okay, so guys, obviously you get the idea of what the gameplay is. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wanna like the config. This is such a simple, simple game. Um, really like a games, man. You've got uh, a simple classic on your hands. Uh, did I get any medals? I didn't get any medals, so you actually get oh you have to get over 80 percent on them. And then you get all the hards. So costumes and power-ups. That's what actually you get for completing through the levels. Of course, you make your character more stronger and you can survive more shit. That is... This, this, this was actually fun. Um, yeah. Chilled out music. Uh, really enjoyable experience. Simple and probably probably worth, worth a couple of bucks. You know, um, if you see this game actually going for um, a few bucks in one of the PlayStation seals or as a digital download for about, you know, three bucks, two ninety nine. And you actually want something that is of the of the era of the Amiga 500 and yeah, Amiga 500, Amiga 1200 kind of like platform shooters. Uh, low, admittedly, it is even simple, simplistic even compared to those. Maybe even compared to closer to Amstrad games from uh, from back in the day. Uh, love the level layouts. Uh, characters look interesting. The artwork in here looks gorgeous compared to the rest of the game. But uh, it's a simple game. Could not actually uh, could not actually say much bad about it other than that it is obviously difficult and it is intentionally in that way it's about memorization and planning and preparation but you can make it through places just through a couple of iterations um not upset by it that's actually the, the good good job on you for blasting agent ultimate edition um i look forward to actually seeing other people play it if you have an opinion on it if you don't if you do you remember any games like this from the amiga era do you remember any other ones that just had those tunes and those trainer demos and those like tech demos for like visualizations and stuff that just had cool ass music that just you could you could listen to it for maybe 15 20 months before you actually even played the game i remember those days I remember those days i'm feeling old man i feel old whenever i think about them i was such a young whippersnapper then still had the same beard though still had the same beard so yeah guys if you actually enjoyed my we look at blasting agent ultimate edition feel free to actually hit the subscribe button up there um if you don't do the subscribe thing completely understand not everybody does just remember the name, Pastiche of Skin. All you have to do is search for it on Google. I'm not hard to find. It's easy to get me. All you have to do is remember my name. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you're watching this on YouTube, there we go. There'll be a subscribe button up there. And over here, there will actually be a playlist of other games I've done on Cold Open. On the far side will be recent episodes, or most recent episode. And right here will be an episode, right where it says Blasting Agent. It will be an episode for you. 
based on your YouTube viewing kind of like habits and what you check out and the things that you've searched for previously, it will pick a video from my channel based on all the stuff that I've put up that will be for your tastes. So yeah, don't have to go and find another video of this. You don't have to go into suggestions. You don't even have to let this autoplay in the next one. Click that one. That's the one that you want. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next retro classic. <laughs> Bye.